What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple surprised us all this afternoon when they released iOS 10.3.2 beta one to register developers. Now, before you even write a comment, I know it's coming asking what happened to iOS 10.3.1. Just stay tuned because I'm going to tell you what I think happened to it in this video. So yeah, guys, this update comes one day after the public release of iOS 10.3. So if you missed the iOS 10.3 video, make sure to go back and watch that. You can check it in the cards right now and in the description as well. So first of all, iOS 10.3.2 beta one, as you can see right here, came in around 1.8 gigabytes on my iPhone 7, which was running the iOS 10.3 final version. Now, of course, the size of this update is gonna vary depending on your device and the firmware you're updating from. And if we head to settings general about and take a look at the build number, you can see that the build number there is 14F065B. So it's another long one, which means that we should be seeing at least a few betas for this version. So now what's actually new in iOS 10.3.2 besides just the build number? Well, as of recording this, I couldn't find anything new. The animation seemed the same. The speed overall just feels the same. Everything feels the same as the final version of 10.3. I looked in the settings for new menus and toggles and things like that. But again, I just cannot find anything that was different from iOS 10.3. Now, with that being said, some users are reporting that Siri kit car commands should now work as expected, but I don't have Siri kit, so I couldn't actually test that out myself. But anyways, aside from that, nothing specific at all has been noted as far as features go with this update. And when we go to the release notes for iOS 10.3.2 beta one, you can see that Apple just pretty much copied the 10.3 notes. Now this isn't unusual or anything like that. They did this pretty much throughout the whole, you know, every seven betas of 10.3, the notes were pretty much the same. Now we can't really base everything off the release notes, but like I said, I went through everything and I could not find anything new, which leads me to believe that this just fixes, you know, some unknown security vulnerabilities likely related to the Apple file system. So when we think about the new Apple file system and what I said many weeks ago in a jailbreak update video about it opening up new vulnerabilities, this release isn't really as surprising as pretty much everybody initially thought. Anytime something massive like a file system has changed, there's going to be new bugs. Regardless of how talented the developers are, they could be the top notch, Google developers, Apple developers, doesn't matter. There's always going to be new bugs. So that leads me to iOS 10.3.1 what happened to it. So I believe the iOS 10.3.1 was just a simple security update that didn't really warrant any kind of beta testing from developers. And as I said, it makes a ton of sense when we think about it. You know, when we think about what 10.3 brings as far as the Apple file system, it just makes sense, you know, for the next version 10.3.1 to be a simple security fix to patch up some of those bugs that were already found. So since iOS 10.3.1 didn't need any kind of beta testing, Apple may as well just go ahead and get the ball rolling with 10.3.2, right? I mean, because looking at the build number, there's expected to be at least you know three or four betas so they may as well just go ahead and get started now and this also means that we should be seeing an ios 10.3.1 release very soon sooner than expected so i hope that cleared things up a bit and again these are just my thoughts on what i think apple is doing and you know it wouldn't be the first time that they've done something like this now i also want to talk about 32-bit devices in ios 10.3 so 10.3.2 beta 1 is apparently only able to be downloaded on 64-bit devices which could mean that ios 10.3 is the highest firmware possible for 32-bit users so it was iOS 11 that was rumored to kill off 32-bit support, but we at least thought that 32-bit devices would get the 10.3.x updates and not just 10.3. And this isn't confirmed just yet. I'm just basing this off of what I've seen so far online. This can very easily change and 32-bit could get support for 10.3.x at a later date. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 10.3.2. And as I said, nothing has really changed but bug fixes and 10.3.1 didn't warrant any kind of beta testing. So that's why it was skipped over. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Another video is possibly coming later this evening. So stay tuned for that. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.